Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I thought I would show you how I do dark skin, a dark skin tone. I haven't done one of these on my channel before. I have kind of a medium skin tone, and I, I think I have a dark skin tone in pan pastels, but I haven't done one um, in color pencils. So when I saw this image by Christine Karen, I knew I... Um, I had to do it because it, she's so beautiful. So I'm going to use luminance for um, these because luminance has some extraordinary colors for doing um, skin tones. And um, yeah, so it was just, it was, it was a perfect combination. So um, you can, uh, the link for this image is in the description box down below the video. And um, as well as all the, um, I'll list all the pencils that I used um, to do this. So I did not alter this image in any way. This is exactly how it came um, uh, downloaded. I take that back with one exception. I did enlarge it um, when I went to print it um, just a bit because I, I prefer um, a larger uh, image in the space of the paper. So I did enlarge it a little bit, but other than that, I didn't, um, I didn't lighten anything, darken anything. This is how it comes. So I'm going to start with the um, Buff Titanium and we're gonna do the highlights with this. So I want to go sort of lightly, um, I don't want any pencil strokes showing. And we can always darken, um, but it's, it's really hard to lighten especially on white paper. So we'll get the, all these spots that we want highlighted. It's been a while since I've done a, one of Christine's images. So this is, this is a treat for me. <laughs> um, Let's go ahead and do a little bit here. I'm gonna go over um, some of this because I don't necessarily want it to be too light, but All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull. <laughs> Again, pull this up a little bit. Just a little bit right there. Okay. Um, let's do a little on her breastbone. Okay, that's enough. We, we don't want to go crazy here. Okay, so I'm going to start with Dark Flesh 40%. Kind of starting light and will work my way darker. Oh, you know what? I didn't put any highlight. Let's let me do that. I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, light color here on her forehead. to light flesh 40%, I'm sorry, dark flesh 40%. I'm gonna find that sweet spot, that, um, that nice flat edge of the pencil. I might have to 
redo that, reestablish it here. So that, that nice flat edge on the pencil is what's going to give you that deposit of color without um, making pencil strokes. I think we'll go ahead and put some of this in here as well. So now I have a nice flat edge on my pencil. So it feels different on the paper. It feels softer, like you don't feel that sharpness like you do when you, um, you know, have a sharp edge. I know that seemed kind of stupid to say, but I think you know what I mean. We're using little round circles. And I think I'm going to go over the entire um, face with this color. I forgot to put a highlight underneath her eye, um, eyebrow, so I'm going to try and kind of stay away from that a little bit. Um, this is going to kind of act as our base so that all the darker colors that we put on top will blend nicely. It looks like the lighting is almost coming just straight down on her face like this. There's no real heavy um, shadows on one side or the other of her face. And I'm going to leave the top of her lip um, kind of light. So I'm not going to go over that right now. So I think that um, if you don't already own the Caran d'Ache, um, the, the latest pencils where they put out their portrait set and and put these um, flesh-toned pencils in the set. Um, they've already changed the color. <laughs> go figure. Um, so if you go to search for um, these pencils, if you don't already have them, you will not find um, dark flesh 40%, dark flesh 5%, and dark flesh. You will find earth earth tone or something. Um, I have no idea why they did that. I, I think that that was stupid personally, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> um, so don't, it's go by the number of the pencil that, you know, that you're trying to find. But I do think it's called warm, I think they're called warm earth maybe, or I, I don't know. I can't remember. I was just kind of blown away that they had done that. I was like, really? You just put them out and you're already changing the color, the name of the color? Makes no sense to me. But anyway, so be aware of that. If you go to try and find dark flesh, um, 
of any of the shades. You will not find it. You'll have to look for the new name. All right, well, we might as well do this all in its entirety, so I'll keep working my way down. Okay, this center area, I think I'm just putting a slightly lighter um, pressure here because at least right here would be a little bit more out. This is going to be a little bit darker. Okay, um, let's do some, I want to make her nice and warm. I gotta find my color first. I thought I pulled it out. Where are you? Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, it was right in front of my face. All right, so now I'm going to use some Burnt Sienna 50% because I want, um, I want to warm up these um, gray, the gray scale part of the image. <laughs> I'm having a hard time keeping things where they go. some of that right here in the crease of her mouth. a little bit here. This is kind of the indentation where the bridge of the nose is a little bit closer to the head. So we want to go a little bit darker there. If 
we go with just dark, a dark color, like if we just were to do dark flesh, um, her skin color would look very flat and not very alive. So the more colors you can put into the skin, um, the more vibrant and alive her skin tone will look. Let's do some of this up here too. I'm not pushing hard at all. I'm, I'm almost just glazing these colors on. Because we want to have lots of room for lots of layers. Lightly blend that shadow down. I'm going to put just a little bit of this on the highlighted parts of the skin so that it's got some warmth. Okay, I better do, oh gosh. Yeah, I was, I told myself not to do that. I, I, I ahead of time said, don't forget to pull the paper up when you work your way down. I'm so sorry, you guys. Yeah, so I just kind of blended the um, the color here on top of the, um, the breast where the, it's highlighted there. So, and I realized that I'm completely ignoring um, her arm, which I don't want to do, so I'm going to take that um, Dark Flesh 40%. I don't think that this is going to be very highlighted, so I'm not going to put any buff titanium down. We'll just use the pressure of the pencil to make it lighter. I'm so sorry. If you're brand new to my channel, please just forgive me. And if you're, if you're um, an old friend, <laughs> you, you already know what to expect. Occasionally that does happen, and I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to fix this collarbone here. It looks a little bit... All right, um, do I want to let's put a little bit of this here? I think I'm gonna break out the dark flesh now. Okay, Dark Flesh is a 
lovely red brown. And I find myself using it for a lot of things. So it's 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 well it's well used. Okay, so I want to try really hard to, to make this blend so as I work my way into the um, center of her forehead, my pressure does get lighter. I'm going a little bit heavier on the outer edges and then lightening up that pressure as I work my way in. And we're going to use another one of these to blend. Another one of these, the dark flesh colors. So it's not going to look perfect yet. We still have a ways to go. Okay, again, try and go really, really lightly as I'm working my way into those lighter areas so that there's not a heavy stop and start. And a lot of the stuff that you see that's really light right now um, will get will get darker as we... We're kind of going to sandwich back and forth between light and dark colors. Try and lighten up that pressure as you work your way into the lighter areas because you want soft, um, round, um, you know, a soft roundness to the shape. Nothing, no harsh edges.
Okay, I'm going to just lighten that pressure so that the center area is a little bit lighter than, you know, where the light would hit right there. Let's do her arm. Lightening my pressure as I work my way into the center. to put some just looking for what I need here okay I want to put some pink into her cheeks and I'm debating on my typical anthro pink or if I want to go with like something like a hibiscus pink which is much darker let's let me see what this looks like no it's almost that's almost too purple so I'm gonna stick with this And a lot of this will get um, covered as I blend with the, the other light flesh color, but I want to get it in here so I don't run out of tooth before I do it. Okay. Um, going to blend with dark flesh 5%. Use the pressure that you're putting on the pencil to determine how light or dark the pencil looks. So in areas where it's going to be really dark and you really want to get a good blend, you can put some good pressure on it. But like as you're working in here to this lighter area, we still want to keep that kind of bright yet. I'm not ready to decide how dark to go on that yet. So I don't want to put a lot of pressure with this into the center. So I'm just really lightening my <laughs> my pressure as I work my way into the um, into the forehead. I really have to apologize. I'm trying to watch the camera and make sure that I'm where I'm supposed to be, but I'm also concentrating on what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of interesting how they say light flesh, you know, dark flesh, you know, is one color. And it's such a red brown, in my opinion. Um, and then they call, and then they have their, you know, dark flesh 5% and dark flesh 40%. And then to me, these colors become very um, golden and, and much more yellow. So I don't know if they had to, to do that to prevent the color from looking too pink. I, I don't know. But to me, these are completely different colors to the dark flesh. Okay, lightening my pressure a lot when I go over this. I might have even covered it up too much. Let's 
start covering up some of this a little bit. Really lightly go over the top of the lip. I don't want that as dark as everything else. I might blend this with some buff titanium. This is, in fact, I'm gonna try that right now because I don't like the way this is. There we go. I wanna be really careful that I don't get too dark right there. Let's go ahead and do that right here too. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and put some more of this in here. Okay, so I'm back to the light flesh 5%, dark flesh 5%, sorry. Okay. Oh, let's pull out this buff titanium again. Get some of that in here. here too. Okay. I also think it's funny that in my mind, this um, dark flesh 5% <laughs> almost seems the same color as the dark flesh 40%. I don't know if they made a mistake. But to me, 5% and 40% are far enough apart from each other that they should be significantly different. And they are really close. Okay, we're still in frame because I pulled back. Hopefully that works for you guys. Okay, again, I'm lightening my pressure as I work my way into the more highlighted areas.
there's a long way to go here to, co to cover up the tooth of this paper. Hmm, did I completely miss this? Yes, I did. All right, so... Um... What... What do I want? I want some more burnt sienna. I actually really liked that for her cheek color. And I think we're going to do some light aubergine. bit to do some work on her nose a little bit, shaping that better. All right, more of this under here. Boy, I really like that purple. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just really, I really like the way it, it 
looks. Okay, what do I want next? Let's see. Um, I want something that's going to blend this all together really, really well. Before I do that, let me just add a little bit more color. Right there. Okay, so, in actuality, the light, the dark flesh 5% should be what I should be able to use, but it's just too dark. Um, so, I'm thinking brown ochre 10%. So let's see what that does. Let's see what that does. I don't want it to make her too light. But I really want to fill in the... You know what? I think that's going to be okay. Um, it's darker than the buff titanium, which is good. And if we glaze over the top of this at the end, after I get all this kind of blended with some um, burnt sienna 50% or maybe a purple, we'll, we'll get back that... Um, yummy, warm, but this is working pretty well. I'm happy with this so far. So again, using my pr the pressure that I'm putting on the paper to, to blend one color into another, you use the same even pressure all over, you, you won't get as nice of a blended transition from your darks to your lights. I'm quite happy with that. So we have to work on her eye because her eye right now the top of her eye is way way too bright so um, let's do the dark flesh 40 percent I'm gonna leave this spot alone Looks better. That was just a little bit too, a little bit too bright. All right, back to blending. So I don't think that this um, the uh, this outer edge needs a whole lot of blending. So I'm going to stay away from it because that way that will help to keep it um, darker. might pull out the buff titanium. And maybe if I'm lucky I can pull out some white. What is this? No, I don't want to. Yeah. 
No, not on white paper. On white paper, you're... Okay, well, that's not, that's not too bad. Okay, we've got some work to do here on her nose. So I want um, burnt sienna 50% for this. Back to blending with brown ochre, ten percent. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I do wanna come back and put some more um, purples and maybe more of that um, burnt sienna in there. Some more pink even, maybe. This feels like I don't have enough color um, I can, f it feels completely different when I use this pencil up here than it, than it does down here. And I think that's just because I just quite didn't put enough um, pencil down first. So this is the um, Dark Flesh 5%. Just needed a little bit more. Now we can try. And it feels completely different. Okay, good. I have no idea why I do that. It's just this weird habit that I have. There's nothing to brush off. I just, <laughs> it's, it's just this weird, yeah, it's just a weird habit. I don't know. Kind of thinking I want to blend this with buff titanium instead. So let me pull that out. Maybe just, ooh, ooh, ooh. maybe just a tiny little bit more color.
Um, put a little bit of that in the center area. And then blend with the um, burnt, sorry, brown ochre 10%. I want some of this and some of this. So I'm going to put some more burnt sienna. And yes, I'm kind of doing this on the side of the pencil. Um, it's still not quite blended as well as I would like, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to blend with the colorless blender. I just want some more warmth in her face. She's golden right now, which is beautiful, but she needs a little bit more. Of course, when we do her lips and stuff, she'll get a lot of color that way too, so. So really, you just, you know, once you get your few colors that you're going to use for the skin tone, it's just kind of a matter of going back and forth with them and adding more of the color that you think it needs. And more than likely, I could use the same um, color combo on a different page. Actually, I did use this color combo on a different page. Um, and depending on the amount of each color that you use, you're gonna get a little different um, skin tone. One that is more golden, one that is more red. A little bit. <laughs> that killed me. I know that's got to be really annoying. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. I do my best. Okay. I want some... Um, anthro pink. Boy, it's just amazing to me when I add pink on a nose how much better it looks. It's kind of trippy, but it does. not to sometimes I get carried away and then I um, you know go over an area I don't know why but I want a little bit of this on her forehead and then maybe a little bit on her chest I don't know I just like the way it looks so blend and see we might be we might be ready for I'm gonna blend in little circles don't don't need much you honestly you don't need as much pressure as you think you might um, your hand should not hurt after blending unless you have hand problems and then I, I that's a different issue but if you're if you don't have, you know, hand problems, your um, your hand should not 
find this painful. If it does, then you're pressing too hard. Okay, I want to add a little bit of this burnt sienna 50% to her arm because it's just not looking warm enough to me. And um, I think a little bit of the Aubergine, light aubergine. I just, love, I just love what it does to skin. I don't know why. Okay, be real careful. Use real small circles so you don't have any heavy lines from the pencil. Maybe a little bit under her, more under her nose. is done. I'm going to um, let's put a little bit of it, this purple, this light aubergine. We're going to put a little bit of this down here. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off, take a quick look at the time, um, just so that I know, um, and then we'll do, when I come back, we'll do her eyes and her lips because I, you know, that's kind of part of her skin. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we are ready to go. I think we're going to do the lips first. And I'm going to use this pink white rather than white. We'll see how this goes. Um, let's try the anthro pink. I think it's 
going to be too light, but I'm going to use the burnt, um, the burnt sienna. Yeah, the burnt sienna 50% on top of it. So then I think it'll be good. Because I, the other pinks in the um, luminance range were just, they were too purple or too, I don't know, something. I love a lot of the colors in luminance, but a lot of the time I feel like they're really lacking in some certain colors. You can't have everything, right? <laughs> I gotta have, that's why we have so many different brands of pencils to choose from. I'm, I'm trying to get in the habit of just using all of my pencils together in, in this, you know, in the uh, on each page, not worrying about brand because um, they all they all work really nicely together. Um, but I forget sometimes, you know, I just get caught up in having my one um, pencil case out. And I, I do do it. I do mix them quite often. But usually it's like only one. I mean, only, only two, only one additional. And really, I could just put them all out there together and... have a huge richness of color choices. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with this color. Whatever I did right there just was wrong. It got, it got that pink in a spot I did not want it. All right, that's not bad. You want a glaze of pink, not lines of pink. Okay, I'm good with that. Um, and I'm actually going to use Dark Flesh instead of Black. It's already pretty dark because of Christine's grayscale here, but... I think I want it a little bit darker right there. All right, let's do some eyes. Um, we need a light gray. I'm gonna try this silver gray because as I'm sure you guys know by now, whites of the eyes are never white. And actually I need to add some more gray to that because it's still not quite right. So let's do Oh, uh, hmm, that's another thing that, all right, we'll use this French gray to see what that looks like. Um, pinks and grays, I think that's what's missing in the luminance range. I'm 
tempted to, because they're like Payne's gray. I mean, it's so blue. Well, but maybe if it's blended with the, um, with that French gray, maybe the two together will be less. will be better together than by themselves. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, let's use the, mm, you know what, I think that's, I think the answer of pink is too bright for her. Um, there's a name for that, um, a name for the, for this, and I don't know what it is. Um, this is hibiscus. All right. Um, let's... Hmm. Kind of light on browns, too, aren't they? <laughs> um, I want to... I'm going to try brown ochre um it's quite light and quite yellow but then i think if i put something over the top i'll get a nice a nice um highlight so let's let's try that don't cover up that highlight because that's part of we want that showing She's got golden eyes with this color, which is actually kind of nice. Like, like hazel. I actually think I really like that. So, um, I'm going to use some dark flesh. On the bottom. I, um, I'm good with that. I like that. Okay. Almost done. We're just going to do some lashes. Okay. So I'm going to do a video that's just on how to do eyelashes. Because um, I... I think that that's something that um, some people struggle with. I'm just before, while I'm thinking here, I'm just going to fix this. This is just a little bit not blended enough for me. Um, I think it's one of the things that people struggle with. Some people have a hard time. So um, lashes, lashes are never straight. They always curve. Um, in the inside of the eye, they curve this way and on this side of the inside of the eye they curve this way then they get a little bit more straight in the middle and then on the outer edges they do the opposite <laughs> yes so the eyelashes in here are going to be real thin and and um, small And then in the center, they get a little bit more straight, but they always clump. Um, they don't just go boop, 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 boop. They, they, they clump together. So, um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna put together a um, practice sheet of eyes and we're going to work on some eye stuff. It's one of my favorite things to do, eyes. Um, here's another thing. The lashes come from, like, has, like Christine's got them drawn, they come from down here, not from that top. Um, 
line, which, speaking of which, I need to add a little bit of pink to that. Let's try this hibiscus pink. And then if I need to, oh, yeah, no, that's not right. So let's do um, flesh, because that wouldn't, that wouldn't necessarily I'm going to put in a little bit more eyeliner. <laughs> All right, let's do these. So curved towards the eye. Then when you get to the center, they're almost straight up and down. And then curving the other way. All right, let's do her um, eyebrows too, since we're at it. Um, eyebrows, there's gonna be a few stray ones that are kind of in the, um, at the beginning of the eyebrow. And they're gonna go up. And when you get to kind of the peak, then they're gonna start to go down the opposite direction. Then and down. All right. I feel good. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of a rosy glow on her cheek. All her finished. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm happy. That came out nice. Um, um, and then when we add all the other um, little details, then she'll be really, really a beauty. I'm just, I'm noticing that this area right here, I might have not gone up high enough. with my color and then we do when we do the hair we'll pull some of those hairs down on top of the um, forehead so all right cool beans thank you so much for hanging in there with me i hope um, you found this um, color combo and tutorial helpful to you um, Dark skin used to really scare me because I used to just never feel like I, I could do it. Um, but it's just it just takes a little bit of practice. And the honestly, the colors in the Karen Dash um, line for dark for um, for skin tones are are totally worth it. Even if you can't um, if you if you can't have a whole set of them. Um, I would I would say get yourself the um, buy yourself some open stock all the flesh toned ones um, and and actually I think I have a list somewhere <laughs> if you want to um, uh, leave me a comment or um, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I think I have a list of all of the colors that I recommend for um, skin tones of all of all types in the Karen Dash line. So um, you can just, um, you know, reach out to me and I will um, send that to you. All right, my friends, until I see you next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Happy coloring. Bye.